my friends my name is Bella and welcome to Beauty and Beyond and today I've done a bit of shopping so there's quite a few things I've bought I bought some new beauty products um, and the, some fashion items and a couple of things that um, well let's have a look we'll have a look shall we let's go to the beauty items first so I tried Oh, firstly, I bought a new putty primer. I tried other makes. This is the e.l.f. one. I haven't started it yet. This is the e.l.f. one. It's the best one. I prefer those primers to any other primers. Um, I, I've tried different ones, the different makes of putty primer, because I think I think e.l.f. was the first, but I think they sort of jumped on the bandwagon and bought a few out after different companies. But I still think e.l.f. is the best. This is not the luminous one. I don't like the luminous one. It's the original one. So I've bought another one of those. I'm going to stick to that, I think, and stop keep searching for something. <laughs> okay, the next product is also by e.l.f., but I am not so pleased i'm not so pleased at all now i've got quite a few of the you know the little elf mini palettes the little palettes eyeshadow palettes i love them bite size i think they called them i really like those i thought they were fabulous so i thought i'd try the blush version now i'm not so keen whether it's just the color i bought this is it so it's in a similar sort of palette to the um the little eyeshadows this one's called white peach but i think it's the color more than anything um the, it's far far too now i like a if i'm wearing orange i like a peach blush i do um my favorite one is still after all these years milani's luminoso i love that kind of peach color but th this is it's very it's, for me it's very hard to blend um it doesn't sheer out enough and the the highlighter is is also a bit too powdery i'm not keen on these and it's very rarely i say that about elf but uh no i'm not keen on those the next thing i thought bought and if you've been with me for years you know i've had it for years this is the label face shimmer i love this stuff i have had hundreds of these <laughs> maybe i'm exaggerating but it i use it as a complete look i've done two or three looks with it um i've got it on my eyes today i've got it on my cheeks today i love this stuff uh, as an all-in-one um i'm going on holiday next week Woo um and I'm, this is what i will take with me for eyeshadow and blush and i just love it it's lovely it never lets me down it shears out it goes as heavy or as light as I want it to and I love it so that label face humor I have been using at least 15 years I love it I absolutely love it the next thing I thought now I love physicians formula I'm, I'm a big physicians formula fan so I thought I'd try one of their eyeshadow palettes so this is the one that I tried now there is really two mattes in here and three shimmer four shimmers but the shimmers are not particularly this one and this one are not that they're not glitter at all they're not um ir that iridescent high shine kind of glitter do you know what i mean they're a nice glitter that the, they're a nice shimmer they're not glitter at all scrub that bit um they're a lovely shimmer and they go beautiful on the eye and if you put the little bit of shimmer just in the center there it just really it's just really really nice and it doesn't look too much and they blend be absolutely beautifully so i'm going to look and see if i can get any more of these in um, other shades i really really like I, another make that i'm always really pleased with is positions formula another brow product if i buy only every time i buy makeup i'll show you makeup i've got a brow product because i'm still in search of me holy grail um this one is by essence and it's called pomade now it's quite nice i love the brush the brush that you put it on with this end is a lovely shape and you can really get up and turn and get a lovely shape with it this one was a little bit too dark for me and then the pomade is in the end i do really like it i like the look it gives you i like um 
I like the brow you get with it. I like it. It's very easy to use. I just got one a little bit too dark for me. I need one. I, um, I think this is a blonde one anyway. But I need it a little bit lighter than that. This this turned out quite dark. Now, do you remember, um, I used to buy a lot of Revolution. An awful lot of Revolution. And their palettes were fantastic. And then they sort of started overloading the market. And, and, and bringing out ones every week. And I, I really don't think they were the same consistency. Um, I think it was it's sort of quantity rather quantity rather than quality at that time and they bought a conceal and was it a, con, a conceal and define or a, a, the foundation was i did do a review on it um and i didn't like it at all i did not like it at all it was really dry and really cracky now, some time ago, they bought one out called Conceal and Hydrate. So this was like the um, the the more glowy one. It, it couldn't have been less glowy because the other one was just chalky. So I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. It's been out for a, a couple of years, I believe. But I thought I'd give it a try. Guys, it's lovely. I haven't got it on today, but it's really, really lovely. So that's the Conceal and Hydrate by Revolution. If you tried the other one and it wasn't a winner and you didn't like it, I don't like it. Well, the way I didn't like it, try this one. It's so, so nice. I'm really, really pleased with it. I haven't got it on today. Today I have on um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. But... I love this. I do. I really, really love this. It's a winner. I'm going to take this one on holiday. Another e.l.f. product. This was a YouTube made me buy it. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Oh my goodness, guys. It is fantastic. It's the best concealer I've used. It not only conceals wonderfully, but it doesn't go into lines. It blends beautifully. Um, and it's... I it. I've always, my, that's been my go-to, a, a lot of them has been, um, you know, the, the shape tape, sh tart shape tape. But honestly, you've got to really work at that and you've really got to be careful how much you put on and it can dry under the eyes. So you've got to be really careful. But this one, it doesn't. It does not dry, it doesn't go in your cracks, it doesn't crease up. I absolutely love it. I use it. I, I, I haven't got it on today either. <laughs> what I've got on today. Um, I have got the Catrice one on today. Um, but this is lovely. It's my number one, my new number one concealer. And this is the one I will be sticking to. I've got quite a few that I will use up. That You know, are, are good, are good. But this is my winner. This is the one that... Um, first on my list so that's the elf camo concealer next i have a lipstick and this is the maybelline lipstick and i love their lipsticks i think maybelline make do you know what i wish they wouldn't do i wish they wouldn't put these horrible stickers on that you can't get off and if you peel them off they're left with a big gluey i wish they would not do that i wish they put something on that you could just pull off you know but i just don't like that on there Anyway, this is called um, Choco Cream. And I'm still very much into the, the nude lipsticks. And they are really so creamy. They're so nice. They glide on the lips. And it, it, it doesn't feel, you know, some creamy lipsticks feel thin. When you put them over your lips, you know they're not going to last. Whereas this has got the texture. You can feel the texture of a good lipstick, but it, you feel the cream as well. And for me, this is, um, this Maybelline cream lipsticks are high-end quality. They really are high-end quality because you know um, I love my, my MAC lipsticks, but... Honestly, these give them a run for their money. I really love this one. So that's the cocoa cream. The next thing is a lip liner. Lip liners, like eyebrow pencils, <laughs> um, 
a sort of hit and miss with me. I bought so many that say creamy, easy to apply, smooth, and you're dragging your lips, and I just don't like that. So I would say, for me, it's worth paying a little bit extra, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner, and this is a lovely shade, and it's just, you've got to, oh, you see, I've used it. It's when you've got to sharpen. But it's so nice, guys. It's a These are the best. Urban Decay's 24-7 are the best lip liners, in my opinion, that you can get. I haven't found anything to top it um, for lasting value. Also, if you put it completely... It's what I had on today before I, I put a little bit of that cream on to show you. I just had it all over my lips as a lipstick, and I wear it like that very often, sometimes with a gloss over the top. It's really nice, but they, you can wear them as a lipstick. They're really good. So Urban Decay is 24-7, highly recommended. And the last thing of cosmetics today... Face powder is another thing that's quite hard, isn't it? I, I, I've got the, this. I have got this on today. Um, especially as we get older, it's we've got to be careful with powders, haven't we? Um, now, I know that for years I've I've loved the um, Rimmel. Stay matte. That's that's a lovely one. It's very reasonably priced, and that is a real. It's a really nice one, and also the coat is air spun. I've used that for a long, long time as well. That's the loose powder, and sometimes when you travel or you want it in your handbag, um, loose powders are not really convenient, are they? But I tried this one. I've got a load. So many I've given out, and so many in my drawer that I know I won't use. I've got to sort out. Um, but I thought I'd try this one and it's a winner it's an absolute winner guys when I find the side that opens this is Kiko it comes in a lovely compact Kiko products are lovely as well it's a lovely smooth powder it's got a magnetic close it's a beautiful smooth powder really finely milled it feels like satin on your fingers it just feels like satin and i just do sort of my t-zone um i also use it over the top if i'm doing eyeshadow like i've got this on today as an eyeshadow i will blend with it so i blend it over the top onto my brow and i use this to do that um it's lovely. I love the powder. It's beautiful compact. But the compact is not so important as the quality of the product, is it? And it's a lovely quality product. So that's Kiko's face powder. I highly recommend that. I got that one on Amazon. So next I have a few clothing items. I love this jumper. I love this neckline. I love this colour. It's a very fine rib. Can you see? It's a very, very fine rib. It's really long. Well, it's really long on me being five foot one. Um, it's really, really soft. And it's love. I love this jumper. This is absolutely my style for the winter. This will definitely be coming away with me because I'm going on in. in I'm staying in England on holiday in October, so I'll be needing jumpers. <laughs> but it's absolutely love. I love this jumper. I'll have to do a video with it on. It's cracking long sleeves, it fits beautifully. It's lovely. Very casual, you can build it if you want, but I The next thing I have, you know I'm a big Primark girl. I love Primark, but I've never bought their jeans because I don't know, I've gone in there and, you know, when you have a look around and I pick them up, I go, no, I don't like those, I don't like those. Now, they've got these ones and they're high i like the high rise jeans and i also like them to have a lot of stretch and i like skinny jeans and i like the mum jeans you know but these particular ones are the skinny ones these are so nice guys they are really nice and they probably fit me among the best bits of i've ever had 
they are really really nice they fit really well and they curve onto your bottom you know they that's I have a lot of trouble with anything sagging or anything like that but they've done they fit perfectly and they've got so much stretch I think that's why they fit so well the stretch helps with the fit doesn't it and I'm really pleased with these these are a size 14 which I always have to think about America is an American 10 but they are really really nice and I love them and I am very very pleased with them and I think that, I think that they were about 15 pound I think they might not even been that really nice really nice at the back I'm mega pleased with them so Primark jeans I've always poo pooed them but give them a try because they're nice the last thing I have clothes wise I just had to get now my son-in-law's got one and I said I want one so my daughter's going to get one my husband's bought one and um my two grandchildren and my daughter are going to get them but these are they're like a blanket I can't think what they're called oh my goodness they're so lovely it's like a big <laughs> it's like a big teddy jumper can you see that it's very long oh my goodness very long it's got a lovely hood i really love the hood on it that's all lined all sheepskin lined inside outside it's all sherba fleece and you just wear it as, either as a dressing gown or a um lounge you wear. like today i've just got this quite, quite bad jumper on but if it got a little bit chilly then i could just put this over the top and it's oh you feel so cozy in it and we're all taking them because i'm going away with um nine of us in our family um and i'm going away with all nine of us are going away and we've all got one of these so we're all going to be sitting in our cabin with one of these on we <laughs> look like the chili family <laughs> but i'm so pleased with that i really really love it okay so the next and last thing i want to share with you is glasses now I've got, obviously, I've got prescription glasses from the opticians. I can't tell you how many pairs I've broken. I put them on my head. I sit on them. I stand on them. I throw them out in the rubbish. Oh. I can't tell you how many pairs I've lost. So, I buy, do you know the over-the-counter ones? So, my prescription in the optician would be 3.5. So these are 3.5 and I got these from Amazon. They come in a pack of five. Nothing flashy. Those are the grey, sort of clear grey ones. And then you've got them in tortoiseshell and black and purple and blue. Now... There's nothing, they're not, you know, the sticker's still on that, you can see. There's nothing sort of posh about them or, you know, they're only a classic. But I don't wear glasses all the time. I only need them for reading and close work. So I just buy a pair. I think they were about £15. They come in a lovely box. And... It's so good for me because honestly, in six months' time, I'd have broken all them or thrown them out or sat on them or something. And um, <laughs> somebody just said, snap, my bad says, another pair of glasses gone. <laughs> and it's true, I do break them all the time. Um, so for me, I've got my prescription glasses that, you know, if I go out or anything like that. But for every day, I just use those and I find those absolutely great. And I put a you know, one in the kitchen, one in the living room, and they're just great. I, I love having those. I think they're about £15, but they was Amazon as well, and I really recommend, you know, if you wear glasses and you, you're um, a klutz like me, that you get some. <laughs> so that was it for today. That's everything that I bought. Hope you enjoyed my video. Lovely being here with you. Now, as I said, I'm going on holiday. I'm going away for a week with all my family. So I won't be here next week. Um, I It's such precious time that week that, you know, we're all together. It's very rare we can go on holiday all together. Um, so 
being so precious, I want to spend every moment with them, and I'm sure you can understand that. But um, I will be back Mon uh, Tuesday week, so nothing next week, but I'll be up the Tuesday after, and of course every Sunday on my second channel, um, Simply Scripture. So if you'd like to join me there, it's linked below. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you have a lovely week coming up. I really hope we'll, you know, the weather holds up. But, you know, to be together is lovely. Just the thought of being together, we're not even really that bothered about the weather. Because we're going to a, part, a place that's, um, you know, got indoor facilities and as well, you know. Um, Centre Parks. Have any of you heard of Centre Parks? So that's where we're going and we're very, very looking forward to it. So I will see you Tuesday week. Take great care of yourselves and thank you for your love and support as always. Bye, my friends. Bye.